What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the most probably hated Pokemon game before release and that is Pokemon Unite. Now, before you go over to the dislike button and dislike this video, this video is just breaking down images that have leaked that make the game kind of look okay and decent for my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section below if you're new to the channel i answer all comments so we can have that conversation about the video in the comment section below and if you are new consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day discussing pokemon let's plays anything i kind of want and just drop it here on the channel so if you're digging the vibe please hit that subscribe button or oh, again hit the like button it does help me out a ton to move the videos over and to recommend it so other people can check out the channel. Now with that out of the way, we got some leaked images to go over for Pokemon Unite. Like every Pokemon game, for what reason or another, there's always leaks. <laughs> I don't know what the Pokemon company or this time Tencent is doing to control the leaks, but hey, we got some leaked images online. I believe there was a video, the video gotten taken down very quickly and obviously I'm not gonna show the video here I am gonna show the images to talk about it hopefully this video doesn't get taken down if not you would just be watching a blank screen of which is me explaining these images however a couple of images dropped on the internet a couple of days ago and I made a Twitter post basically saying that because these images are starting to leak it can mean a few things like press and influencers got a hands-on beta with the game or you know an alpha version of the game that they can play at their homes test it out give feedback and stuff like that it looks like that's the phase that the game is in right now where at least somebody out there in the world has the game playing it and able to take screenshots of the game and post it out in the world. It does look like they have the mobile version of the game. I could be wrong, the Nintendo Switch version could have the same interface. However, on the top right hand corner of this image right here, before I even start breaking it down, you do see the like phone battery life in the bars indicating that this is from a mobile phone a good connection is going to be needed to play this game so it's good to sh see that there are connection symbols right here on what it looks like to be the home screen of the game and i'm liking the home screen it's pretty cool like the player character on a roof our avatar character he looks cool doesn't look too bad doesn't look like the best thing we ever seen from a pokemon game but the graphics and art style of this character particularly I like it kind of matches the Pokemon even though he's kind of way taller than Charizard it kind of matches the art style of Pokemon in a way that a lot of games kind of miss they, they kind of make the humans look one way and then the Pokemon look a different way and that's an art style Pokemon has always gone with and this it looks like they're choosing an art style that kind of favors the idea that the Pokemon in the humans kind of almost look the same way it's kind of weird because to see this guy be taller than charizard is a head scratcher to me however it's nothing new with pokemon games getting sized wrong i mean we've seen well lord a thousand times in pokemon battles pop out of pokeballs and be tinier than trainers so nothing really new there this image is not really a it's not really a lot to talk about and to go over just the fact that the art style does look pretty cool what we can see though is the on the top right it looks like we're gonna have two different types of currencies now i could be wrong but it looks like the one that's at 490 is like a currency that you earn in game and then you have next to it the one that is zero it looks kind of like a premium currency something that you will probably have to pay with real money in order to earn or to gain and it also looked like there's gonna be a stanima system of some sort again i could be wrong i could just be drawing straws with these images but on the bottom you see what it looks like to be a charge capsule or something like that and then you see a thunderbolt with zero out of a hundred and in mobile games stanima systems are a normal thing where if you play a ton within a day or within an hour your stamina runs out and then you have to come back in two to three hours for your stamina to regain 
so you could play again like two three hours real time and that's kind of disappointing at the same time it's a mobile you're not going to be grinding to the point where you're just playing non-stop but uh, like if a person is a mobile fanatic and plays daily grinding non-stop this month this game it might suck the money out of you because i bet i will be i'll be betting money that if there is a stanima system there is going to be a way to pay to get more stanima and mind you they need to make money somehow it is going to be a free mobile game on the nintendo switch on mobile but i'm just like uh stanima systems is something that i just really dislike i'm really turned off by games that do that method in order to make money i would rather just buy stuff in games from mobile games kind of how like pokemon quest is like hey you can buy these in-game items and they help move along your through your quest but if you don't buy them it's fine you could still grind the game i kind of prefer games like that or prefer games where you're just buying like in-game packs and stuff like that like you know cards or something i i don't know stanima games is one of those i'm like eh. on the left side of this picture we do see a ranking system so it looks like this game is going to have rankings which is pretty cool especially right out the gate that'd be awesome we also see what it looks like to be a friends list right next to the ranking there's like a shadow it looks like if you was to click it it will pop up and show your friends it looks like if like a whole media bar which is pretty cool under it we got our settings on the right hand side it looks like you know daily events challenges shopping carts probably we we're gonna buy stuff pokeball is probably gonna be the where all of our pokemon that we have earned and obtained and stuff like that so we can plan out stuff it looks like that's gonna be that function on the top left the username of the player is blurred out so it's nothing we can really see just the note that we are gonna be having what it looks like to be customizable player icons which i hope we can make pokemon because that'd be cool that's pretty much it for that image moving on to the next image where there's two trainers we see the male trainer again and then the female trainer in the back both with their own unique sailor outfits they both look pretty cool this is one of those things that we're going to get into territory where i'm like uh i hope we don't have to pay for this stuff but i wouldn't be surprised if we did have to pay for it the outfits do look cool and i wouldn't mind you know paying for like an ash skin or an ash costume for my avatar now this does look like a tournament screen where we're about to jump into a tournament and i'm only making that assumption because of the trophy on the side but there's nothing to really deep dive into moving on to the juicy stuff the stuff that is going to actually matter and that is a pokemon select screen that has ivysaur blastoise Pikachu Wigglytuff which is new a new Pokemon that we haven't seen inside of the Pokemon Unite initial of launch trailer or launch commercial or launch Pokemon press whatever you want to call that that they did um, and then we also see Slowbro another new one we see Snorlax we see Lucario Greninja Talafame and again ending it off bottom we see Zera Aura now I'm gonna go I'm gonna get into Zera Aura but Obviously, we're seeing Greninja, we're seeing Lucario. These are fan favorite Pokemon. Kudos that they made it into the game. I believe we didn't see them in the Pokemon Unite initial trailer. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. Slowbro, I know we definitely didn't see. I don't know why they would choose Slowbro. It's one of those choices that like, is that really a fan favorite or... Even if it's not a fan favorite, what is Slowbro going to do? And if it's to the point that you have to, you know, use a Pokemon at their base level and then evolve them in the match, you're going to be walking around with a Slowpoke, bruh? Like, what? Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand what went into that decision. However, it could be pretty cool. It could be a, you know, a tank and basically be OP if you get like a slow king maybe a galarian slow bro I, I don't know maybe this could work however we're gonna have to see once this game is out in, in our hands to make that assumption now jumping over to zero aura one thing that i i'm like kind of curious about is that in the pokemon presents the one prior to the one that announced this game where they announced that hey a week from now we're gonna get a brand new pokemon announcement get hype and then we all waited around and then got a mobile game and was tight and the pokemon presents before it we got this whole shiny zero aura event 
And we were all high and like excited off the fact that Zero Aura was finally making its way into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Shiny Zero Aura was going to be available for all players. And, you know, we were going to get our hands finally on Shiny Zero Aura. It was like kind of a mini celebration within that day. Yes, we got Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap coming to the Switch. Oh! Oh, shit! It's fucking Pokemon Snap! What the fuck? Let's fucking go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! That news was amazing. We also got Cafe Mix, you know, cool. And then we also got, you know, a little bit of Sword and Shield DLC news, which was also cool. But again, the, like, I don't understand why they just added the Pokemon Unite part, maybe to the end of that first Pokemon Presents, and then go in the game and show off Zero Aura, who's everybody is excited about. Like, like, everybody is high excited on Zero Aura. You have Zero Aura in the game. Why not show him to get to continue the hype train? You let the hype train die for a week. We get mad when we see Tencent retweeting the Pokemon Presents even before it went live. So we knew we were getting a mobile game. And then we were like, hopefully this is not the only thing we got. And it was the only thing we got. The, the Presents felt like a full-blown Tencent commercial. And then on top of that, you guys didn't even show off something that we were super excited about the week prior to that. And it's in your game. And I'm like, oh my god. It's like, as maybe they didn't know. Maybe Tencent, the people making the you know commercial, whatever, maybe they didn't know what was going into the Pokemon Presents prior. And if they didn't, Jesus Christ, please, Pokemon Company, Tencent, communicate, communicate. This is the only way you're gonna make it right and make us, the Pokemon community, feel like this is not just a cash grab money solution to making a MOBA game. And that's where it's at right now. As excited we are as Pokemon fans to get a new game, to get a MOBA game. That's exciting. That's incredible. I'm not a huge MOBA guy, but I would, I'm would. i going to get this, and I'm going to play it, and I'm going to try it out. But I would be more excited if I felt like this was for Pokemon rather than for Tencent. Because that's how this kind of played out. I felt like this was like a Raid Shadow Legends vibe more than a, you know, Pokemon vibe. Which is kind of like, uh, not a good spot where you want to be. Especially with, you know, Raid Shadow Legends. If you, if you know, you know. We get a 5v5 versus screen with, you know, nothing really too new. It's just stuff that we kind of went over names are blurred out so we can't pull anything from there so a little bit more information from the reddit is saying that this was from internal tests that begin in august and the release of spring 2021 so we're not going to see the game this year which could be a good thing that could mean that they got a lot of time to polish up the game and to get stuff right and get stuff correct now this is another screenshot going back um on the character creation side so worried that we're gonna probably be able to buy some of the clothing items and they're gonna try to suck the money out of it it says it right here it says trainer customization system aka money sucking system and i i, I guess that's gonna be a thing i i could see it now them basically dropping hey you want your character to look like brock or misty or you know steven here pay the ten dollars get the skin get the outfit for your in-game avatar your in-game trainer now while i'm not opposed to them actually making money from the game and selling stuff because again like i said i will buy an ash skin. i'm i'm down i'm i'm i'm, I'm sold that ten dollars is is golden what I'm scared of is them actually leaning into it and that'd be the only, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be the only way you actually can get items is to pay. That would suck. I want to be able to use my in-game currency, if I if I am able to earn any, to buy those items as well. Pokemon Masters does a thing that is kind of scummy to me, where basically some items you can use the in-game gems that you get free for logging in, and then some stuff is just like, no, you need to use pay gems. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? What? Why? And I don't want that to be the case in Pokemon Unite. Moving over to another screenshot, and I believe this is the last one, we do see a icon image of Dread. Now, now we don't see him on the field. We just see him in the top right hand corner. 
We also see Rotom. I don't know if Rotom was confirmed, but you also see Rotom with a counter right here as well. And again, I don't know if he was confirmed in the, the trailer, but again, Dreadnought, that means Gen 8 Pokemon is here. Gen 8, they, they're going into the crates of Gen 1 all the way to Gen 8. If they got Dreadnought here, who knows? We might you know, we might see everybody from, from Gen 8 that are fan favorites. Dreadnought is kind of a fan favorite. I mean, he's a turtle. They got two turtles in here, and they got, you know, they got Blastoise and Dreadnought now. But again, I'm very interested in what characters actually make the roster. When you look at games like, you know, Ray Child Legends, Smite, and, you know, even League of Legends, there are, like, a ton of characters. I think, like, League is probably up to, like, 80. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. And I don't think pokemon unite is gonna launch with 80 characters no i think we're gonna probably get maybe close to 25 and you know then from there they're gonna expand the roster which i wouldn't be too mad about if they did that 25 base pokemon they evolve and then just you know seasonally add new pokemon or you know quarterly or monthly or whatever the case may be add new pokemon I think that'd be a good fit for a game like this, especially a MOBA. You don't want to just add, you know, I can see it now. Balancing 800 Pokemon is going to be a mess, <laughs> especially in a game like this. They got to make sure the balance, you know, and everything is corrected and, and cool. So I could see them doing 25 and then, you know, adding Pokemon as we go. I'm glad they're not doing the Pokemon Gold thing where it's just generation one and then adding a new generation every few months. So that's cool. But yeah, this is... Uh... This is a trip. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about these brand new screenshots for Pokemon Unite. Again, these ain't brand new screenshots. These are all elite images from Pokemon Unite. So all this stuff in these images are subject to change. I'm pretty sure a couple of UI stuff that we see here is probably going to get changed or, you know, touching up before the actual launch in 2021. Again, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. If you're new around here, I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. Also drop a like on the video. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video and, <laughs> and please don't just dislike because you dislike the game. <laughs> Peace, I love you. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one